welcome to science class good morning well and all present here we are studying chapter 8 sound and noise sound is a form of energy that enables us to hear sound is the movement of energy through a substance such as air water or solid sound travels out in the form of waves in all directions you can see here sound traveling in the form of waves it is produced when a force causes an object or substance to vibrate you can see here the vibration caused by the movement of sound waves it cannot travel in vacuum it can travel only through medium such as air water wood metal or solid items as i told you sound cannot travel in vacuum or empty space or space without air like outer space because there are no atoms or molecules to vibrate so there is no sound in outer space different objects produce different types of sounds for example voices whistles horns musical instruments etc they all produce different type of sound the loudness of sound can be measured in decibel decibel is a relative unit of measurement of loudness of sound corresponding to 1/10th of a bell 1 decibel 0.1 db sound energy is measured in units of pascal and uh, decibel actually the loudness of sound is measured now you can see here the range of human ear from blue to red means the most harmful this is the decibel scale a whisper is about 30 decibel normal conversation is about 60 decibel see here normal conversation a refrigerator even produces a noise of a uh, sound of 50 decibel then truck that is 80 decibel it's very loud see above 70 it is very loud 60 is moderate 50 is faint and then 70 is loud and above that very loud and 140 decibel that is threshold of pain means the noise of uh, sirens firecrackers jet engines engines they are approximately of 120 decibel and above and they can cause immediate harm to our ears there are sound like infrasonic sound sound waves with frequencies less than 20 hertz that is too low pitched found for humans to hear are called infrasonic sound these infrasonic sound produced by thunders earthquakes volcanoes avalanches meteorites and you will be surprised to know that this low pitched infrasonic sound can be heard by elephants and whales we have ultrasonic sound sound waves with frequencies more than 20000 hertz that is too high pitched found for humans to hear are called ultrasonic sound ultrasonic sound is produced by a transducer that converts electrical energy to mechanical energy and again you will be surprised to know that dogs cats moths and mice can hear this ultrasonic sound there are types of sounds like audible inaudible pleasant unpleasant soft loud music noise etc 
some common sounds around us ticking of a clock ringing of an alarm ringing of a telephone ringing of a mobile whistling of a pressure cooker whistling mouth blowing of a whistle clattering of utensils pattering of raindrops crashing of glass creaking of a door thundering of clouds whispering of wind singing of river chirping of birds chattering of squirrels humming of insects even churning of insects means sound produced by insects now we are going to do an activity from activity zone here we are going to take a steel plate and a steel spoon and we will strike the steel plate with the spoon what are we going to observe we'll observe that a sound is produced now when sound is produced and you touch this plate what you will feel you will feel a light shaking movement for a short duration and this is called a vibration this shows that sound is produced by a vibrating object as i told you earlier sound is a form of energy and it is produced when an object vibrates a light shaking movement for a short duration is called a vibration and this experiment confirms that sound is produced by vibrating objects sounds made by living things now we know living things here we are talking about humans what type of sounds do we produce we produce sound when we talk we produce sound when we laugh we produce sound when we sing when we cry even very low pitched sound is produced when we whisper a very high pitched sound is produced when we shout even people are identified by their voices because each one of us got a different type of sound so that also can make people identification with the sound they are identified not only this you know we produce sound by snapping our fingers by clapping our hands even by stomping our feet not only human beings but birds and animals also make different sounds for different purposes such as for communicating with each other for sharing information or for warning each other of danger these animals and birds they produce different types of sound we can easily easily identify an animal or a bird by the sound it makes some examples are barking of dogs mewing of cats buzzing of bees neighing of horses mooing of cows chattering of monkeys roaring of lions even some male animals and birds they also make special sounds to attract the females now a very big question do trees also produce sound yes they do produce sound you can see here this trees without leaves so they produce sad sound now leaves they also produce sound rustling of leaves when there is a soft breeze we can hear they produce sound even when you are stepping on the dry leaves which are fallen from the trees and garden they also produce sound that cracking sound what we learned today was all about sound some common sounds which are around us the activity 
which showed that sound is produced by vibrating object, then sound made by living things, which included human beings, birds, animals, and even trees. Thank you children for giving a patient hearing.